Alright, so rising everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm your chocolate priestess here to do a Virgo season reading. Alright, so the Virgos is a start. Um, it starts August 23rd or for a Virgo. This spread that I'm doing is for Virgos or a Virgo birthday. Um, it invites us to channel the uh, the organized and productive energy of late summer and to a spirit of satisfying contribution. So we are reaching the um, <clears throat> the um, ending portion of summer. And um, I'm recording this on the 21st of August. So without further ado, oh, before I even get down to it, I'm gonna still shuffle. And whatever card comes out, that will be the energy of Virgo season, like right now. Um, so, Virgos, they are associated with the planet Mercury, which holds communication on all forms, um, alongside with Gemini. It is a mutable sign, so mutable signs are known to be uh, flexible, adaptable, um, practical, as well. Uh, Virgo is known to be detail-oriented, detail logical individuals. Um, they are hard-working. Uh, uh, they are hard workers as well because, you know, my dad and my brother, they are Virgos. <laughs> um, they could be overthinkers at, and perfectionists though that could be um a, a downfall for them or a weakness for them um but overall they're gonna get the job done <laughs> regardless uh the chakra associated with virgos well if we're talking about on a planetary stand or if we're talking about like elemental standpoint well, it will be the root chakra because the Virgo is an earth sign. But at this but if we're talking about planetary wise, um, with the communication, that will reside with the throat chakra region. I associate Virgo and Gemini with the throat chakra region. And then of course, you know, you can add the grunt the the two other, you know. Like the main root because it's an earth sign, but far plan far as planetary wise and just the the uh the characteristics of the planet, I associate that with the throat chakra, okay? That deals with self expression and speaking your truth and living authentically and then plus Virgos are um, associated with the sixth house, which is the house of health and um, wellness and service. So they be service, they be of service to others, you know, uh, that hospitality sector. So, yeah, that's a little tidbit I can throw at throw at y'all right now. Okay, <coughs> so it sounds like. Come, come to the edge is the highlight for Virgo, Virgo season. I see a girl. This is almost giving like, um, like the imagery of this is almost like the full. Um, and then it, I see hearts. Hearts represent love. It don't have to be like romantic. Um, but with red hearts, it could be residing with the root chakra. And then red, it signifies love and passion. Um, this individual, she is wearing a white dress, so it means purity. And a 36, 3 plus 6 equals 9. 9 brings about completion, cycle completions. Um, meanwhile, we have new life at the bottom of the deck. So this could mean like bring, come to the edge to bring possibly love cycles to an end. So a new one can start. That way it can grow from it. 
3 plus 9 equals 12. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 brings about growth and expansion. Teamwork, effort. So let's go ahead and see what it's talking about oracle in this guidebook. <coughs> so. Da -da -da -dum 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 -dum. Um, so it says courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. So it says facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to prog progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated, which, Virgos, y'all make calculated decisions. Now it's time to make one that is not calculated. Um, to feel exhilaration as you as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come. <laughs> that was a read. <laughs> Come to the end and discover what that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar. So that you may find your miracles. Wow. Interesting. Uh, I'm just going to ask. I'm just going to read what the relationship message is. It says it's scary to be truly intimate with somebody. Allow him or her to see all of you. Especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protected. Now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen. Uh, truly seen it's important that you speak up voice what you need state who you are say what you hope for this is not the time to play it safe but to take a leap of faith you will be glad you did if you seek a relationship the same applies take one step toward the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire okay so basically this is saying take a leap of faith Take a leap of faith into a new life. All right? That's the theme for this season, this Virgo season. <clears throat> um, so, the first question to clarify this, it says, where, am, where are we being called to serve this Virgo season? What are we being called to serve this Virgo season? got the six of cups memories of love we are being called to serve this virgo season with memories of love oh nostalgia nostalgia oh family reunion okay so there could be a, a reunion of some sort um Dang, do 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 y'all still do family reunions around this time? Uh, I'm just wondering, even though people are you know back to work and school, but it seems like um, either reunions are happening, or um, going back down memory lane, um, or it could be the innocence. You're being called to serve this Virgo season regarding to the innocence um, in taking that leap of faith or taking that leap of faith of of um, bringing balance to one, uh, bringing balance towards a reunion that may take place uh, in your neck of the woods Okay. Um, what's at the bottom of the deck for this? Teach. So you can be able to teach others what you have learned from that experience. With the Hierophant card being present here. You may have a loyal companion along the way to... Um, how should I say? To... Um, that may help you on this journey. That may accompany you on this journey. In that matter. <clears throat> um, how can 
we get organized for the task in front of us when it comes to coming to the edge how can we get organized We can get organized by being in solitude with the um, hermit card here. Be in solitude, be, uh, be in solitude to gain introspection um, of ourselves and our surroundings so we can be able to start a new chapter. So we can be able to close some chapters in order to start a new one that will open us up with the four of pinnacles right four of pinnacles in this particular deck let me see red represents the pinnacles let's see oh yeah. I, I opened it right up to it <laughs> come on now yes yes it is a pentacles card okay so we need to get organized for the task in front of us by gaining introspection with some solitude get some solitude um hermit card hermit card is all about soul searching getting introspection being alone to, uh finding that inner guidance so when that four of pinnacles come about, you'll be op uh, you'll be able to open up keywords for this particular card. It says withdrawal blocks, control and release. So to go into further perspective with that, it says sometimes past sorrows cause you to withdraw both from your emotions and from other people as a way of preventing further pain. However, this closing up or shutting down prevents a free flow of energy and to you interfering with the ability of the universe to fulfill your desires. When this card appears, it suggests that you may have bl um, blocked or closed off energy in some way. Um, have you said sadness? Have you let sadness or fear prevent you from moving forward into more satisfying living relationships. This energy, uh, blocking energy by working with affirmations, prayers, and your spirit guides, the more you open up your energy field, the sooner you will receive what you desire. Also, watch out for the need to control. For relationships to thrive, the energy must be free-flowing. Everyone must have the right to self-expression. When you open up yourself, you allow your relationships to grow and evolve. And that's what I was explaining, like, picture-wise in this card. Because this girl is innocent. Because ha it, This girl has a sense of innocence with her wearing this white dress. And with the hearts uh, flowing around her as she's about to take that leap of faith. Is basically depicting that, you know, have a be free within your relationships. Stop being in control. It's time to put an end to controlling one another in a relationship and be free flowing so y'all can be still be able to learn from each other and also um, still work on and still um, <clears throat> build off the foundation that y'all have established thus far, okay? Now, the next one, how can we work to soften rigidity in this in this season? How can we work to soften rigidness this season? With uh, the Nine of Pentacles, a well-deserved reward. Basically, um, stand stand on your accomplishments. Celebrate your accomplishments. That, that's what it 
giving. Celebrate your accomplishments. Celebrate how far you come and vocalize it. Don't be afraid to vocalize it. Share it with your collective. Share it to any and who, whoever and anybody that is willing to listen to you regarding to um, removing the rigidness from um, from yourself <laughs> this season. Okay, don't be afraid to celebrate your accomplishments. Okay, that's basically what this is about. Celebrate how far you come, big and small. <coughs> how can we, let's see, how can I most effectively make sacrifices? How can we most effect, effectively make sacrifices for our higher good? How can we most effectively do things for our higher good? Balance, the temperance balance maintaining balance as changes come about of course maintain balance also pick and choose your battles <laughs> at the same time pick and choose your battles on the creative side with the when it comes to your feelings and emotions and creativity with this orange highlighted here when it comes to your heart with the green highlighted here and how you communicate with yourself and others, okay? Pick and choose your battles wisely, all right? And then lastly, how can we be recognized for, let's see, how am I being recognized? For, how are we being recognized for our services? How are we being recognized for our services as we take a leap of faith with the Empress card? Nurture. Nurture yourself. Nurture yourself. Stay grounded and nurture yourself. <laughs> again, here go the throat chakra card, y'all. Uh, so again, the throat is, is highlighting itself even though I already told y'all at the beginning, the throat chakra is highlighting itself um, this Virgo season. So it's time to um, speak life to yourself. That's, that's what it is. How can we be recognized for our service? Speak life to yourself and with others. Speak life, because nurture, you see how she's, bringing things to life as an empress speak life into yourself okay all right <clears throat> um let's go ahead and get some closing messages in this matter Should I, i'm gonna I'm keep it as is y'all i'm gonna keep it as is all right let's get some closing messages so what things what could we be learning this season this virgo season as a collective we have empathy i am open to seeing things from both sides of the situation how can we do so let me do this we can express empathy we can do so by growth, having some growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Why? So we can complete some karmic, so some karmic completions can end and we can basically start from ground zero. Start from ground zero to rebuild that foundation so we can be our um so we can have new life and be more stronger okay and then finally the vibe for the season what is the vibe for virgo season as we take a leap of faith
I was called here on a mission. Ooh, this is the first time that card coming out because what? We are surrounded by angels. Ooh, this is a new one. Let's read upon that. <coughs> I was called here on a mission. I like how that's the um Okay, I was called here on a mission, and this is a Gaia Gateway. Yes, Ancient Wisdom, Gaia Gateway Chakra. So the Gaia Gateway Chakra is in the color brown, dark brown and black. Um, it's found through the Earth Star. Therefore, it's found beneath our feet, but we're connecting to it. It's best to imagine a wormhole or portal in the center of the Earth. This chakra is not as well known as the others but it connects us to the infinite intelligence of the Gaia the spiritual presence of the planet earth so we can use it to act, assess the ancient wisdom of the earth the Gaia gateway cards are about really rooting down to our path in order to assess the wisdom of our soul they are about recognizing all of our experiences, whole key aspects of our healing, and through connections with our own personal story. We're about to uncover our purpose. The Gaia knows what it it's like to feel mistreated and misunderstood, but she also knows um, what it's like to survive and thrive. As we work with her matrix of intelligence, we are unable to uncover the same energy of our own life so about this card it reads this is certainly not your first incarnation and there's a good chance it's not your last before you came into this body your soul set the intention to remember the power of your spirit in this lifetime it set the intention to bring in the light of source that was your mission the rest was up left up to you all the learning all the experiences and what you might do with them but your car your life has great purpose and when this card appears the universe is reminding you of it in fact this card brings a boost of confidence it shows that you are on the right path just by being who you truly are you are a bright spark of light and goodness to others so stop letting yourself worried about specifics just express the power of the spirit in the most authentic way possible shine now shine where you are express your gifts and the rest will unfold the vibe of the day i remember the power of my spirit because why you are protected and surrounded by angels all right so that concludes the reading for Virgo season, feel free to chime down in the comment section below of your, um, if this resonates with you. If not, that's fine. There'll be more readings on down the line whenever I can <coughs> get my schedule together um, because of my son playing football, <laughs> okay? <laughs> uh, so I have to readjust, readjust. But, um, of course, if you like to book a personal session with me, you can hit me up on my website, uh, www.honeysoulchildbottega.com. Of course, like, share, share, share this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've done so already. Uh, hit that notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video. All the uh, new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I highly appreciate you. I show gratitude to, to you all. For the um, returning subscribers and viewers, of course, much love to you all as well. Of course, I'm still on the grind to a thousand uh, subscribers, so um, there'll be much more in store. Just, of course, be patient with me as I be patient with you all. Of course, it's nothing but divine timing over here. Nothing but divine time at, in this section over here everything anything that i do is is the timing of it okay there is a reason why i hold out there's a reason why i do the things that i do it's it's my own method of madness 
<laughs> over here, but in a good way. But without further ado, I'm going to leave y'all to it. Always remember to love thyself, know thyself, soothe thyself so you can heal thyself. And I'll see you guys in the next video.